Are you looking for more listings? I've got a documented tactic that will build your inventory next on Agent Hacks. The biggest challenge out there right now for real estate agents is building their inventory, leveraging listings. Too many people sell a home and they don't do anything about it. They don't announce it to the world. They don't prospect and try to leverage it into one or two more sales. And that's what a smart business person does. So we're going to go over one of the most basic techniques to generate listings. And right now, old school works. Sweat equity works because nobody else wants to do it. And when you do the thing that nobody else wants to do, it usually pays off with results. So these are circle dials calling into a neighborhood where you just sold a home. And there's a lot of plays on this. You can call to invite them to an open house. You can call when you just list a property, when you put a home under contract, or when it closes. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. And the point is, each one of those instances, you're building value. You're delivering something of pertinence to the people on the other end of the phone, which is what people want today. They don't want a solicitation call, they want a value-based call, content marketing. So, assuming you sold the home and you had multiple offers, and you can use this for other sales in the neighborhood too that aren't yours, you just have to adjust your language so you don't mislead anybody. Here's the questions and the script you wanna ask. And this comes from Jeff Mays, our team coach. We went over this literally on a call. We're implementing it. Very excited to see what happens, but I want to share it with everyone here because it's that good. So assuming my man Nick here behind the camera sells his home, gets multiple offers, we're going to call his direct neighborhood and we're going to reach out and say something like this. Hey, congratulations. The value of your home just went up. This is Tom Tool with Remax and the Tom Tool sales group. And we just sold the Wolf's property down the street from you. They had four people interested. It was a three bedroom, two bath property. So how does your home compare to that one? Right, see what you're doing there? You're asking them a question, you're getting them to talk. So congratulations, the value of your home just went up. How does your home compare to that one? And they may say, well, mine's smaller, mine's bigger, et cetera. That's the first question. Second question, hey, all the buyers that lost out on that home, they asked me to reach out to you to see if you have any interest in selling. So see what we did there? These buyers, they want to buy a home in the neighborhood. They, if you're the listing agent, they're going to want you to try to generate something else because their agent's probably not doing it. So all of a sudden you have the ability to go to the neighbors, share the most recent piece of sales activity. You're now the newest neighborhood expert because you have the last sale there. And you can leverage that to see, one, if you can help those buyers that lost out, or two, if you're able to help some other people in the neighborhood, just like you help Nick and his family. So really simple questions there. Congratulations, the value on your home went up. How does yours compare? And it's really important to name the consumer or the client that you're working with in that because it's gonna make it personal. They're gonna know the family. They're gonna know the neighbors in a lot of cases. So that's an additional piece of information I wanted to share. So congratulations, the value of your home just went up. How does yours compare? And those buyers asked me to reach out have you had any interest in selling? And then from there, you go into the normal qualification questions. And these questions aren't as hard hitting as a for sale by owner or an expired. So do you have any plans on moving in the future? Where did you move from? What did you like about, what do you like about the neighborhood? What made you pick this home? And how long have you been living in the neighborhood? Those are the normal qualifying questions. Just get them talking, build rapport. That's the idea with these calls. So very simple. That's an example of a just sold with multiple offers. And again, you can use that intro with an open house when you penned it, when you list it active for the first time. There's a lot of ways to do this. Here's the thing. Most people will not be making these calls. Most people are going to go for the low hanging fruit. And when you are out there looking for sellers, that's when you find them. Because right now, sellers aren't looking for anybody. They're seeing who comes to them and making decisions. Any questions? You know where to reach me. Otherwise, we'll be back next week.